okay, honey. It's time for us to leave. But we know you'll do great. You've only been getting ready for this your whole life. But no pressure. Um, pretty much my life's always gone according to plan, but the past couple months have been really difficult for me. Um, life after high school is just a little bit uh, harder than I thought it might be, and I really want to get back on track. I'm wondering if you have any advice on how to bounce back after a pretty big defeat. Oh, Emily, do I know that feeling? Trust me, everybody goes through this. Let me tell you about my time at Cupcake College. It may help. I dreamed of pastry college since I was a mini muffin. <sighs> okay, honey, it's time for us to leave. But we know you'll do great. You've only been getting ready for this your whole life. But no pressure. Uh, thanks, Mom? But I'm 100% certain that everything will go exactly as I picture it! Yay! Things didn't go exactly as I pictured it. First off, I hadn't had to make new friends in years. Hi everyone, it's me, the Good Advice Cupcake! So I was a little rusty. Second, I barely studied in high school and still got straight A's. In college, it caught up to me. Every college rom-com I'd ever seen taught me that you immediately meet the love of your life semester one. Um, one hot vanilla fartuccino? I mean frappuccino, frappuccino! Ugh. Spoiler! It didn't pan out with the juicy barista berry. By the end of my freshman year, I was failing in basically every category. Crap grades, check. Dead love life, check. Making lifelong friends? Who do I have to hug to get some more chocolate milk around here? That wasn't going great either. So I spent a lot of time alone. I didn't think anyone would want to be around me when I felt that bad. But cutting myself off from people made me feel worse, which made me spend more time alone. So I was stuck in this endless cycle. I moved back home for a semester... or two. And for a while, I was just too defeated to try anymore. I stopped cutting my hair. I didn't even respond to texts from old friends. I'd looked forward to college my entire life, and now I was watching my life fall apart all around me. Until one day, my cat Sprinkles gave me a gentle reminder. Everybody fails sometimes. I didn't know how to do everything to get my life on track, but I did promise Sprinkles to do at least one little thing then that one little thing could lead to another little thing. And then those little things could build up to be bigger things. It wasn't easy. But once I started taking smaller steps, things started to slowly get better. I made some like-minded friends, went to therapy. I even brought my grades up a bit. I finally graduated and I was so proud of myself for sticking it out through all the tough times. So as you can see, things don't always exactly go as planned. 
But I learned how strong I was and how brave I could be. The road to success isn't a straight line. Actually, it's not even a wavy line. The road to success is all over the place and full of failure. But you can't give up just because you hit a valley. Keep putting one foot in front of the other and I promise you, things will get better! <laughs> I felt just like you did, girl. And now, I have my own TV show. Imagine all the amazing things you're gonna do. Well, that's all the time we have today, friends. Until next week, keep believing in yourself! Oh, <laughs>